Hi everyone, my name is Peter Dove, author of Master Dressage. Today I thought I'd just go over how to correct uh, hollow back issues and round back issues as well. Uh, so thank you everyone who's been posting uh, their pictures and videos in the Facebook group, the closed Facebook group that we've got set up for the Master Your Riding course. Uh, it's really brave for everyone to submit the photographs and the entire group's been brilliant uh, and I've been going through and, and commenting on them. Uh, as and when they get posted and, and as and when I have some time as well. The first thing I thought I'd cover would be hollow back riders. And there's a couple of features to notice about hollow back riders. The first feature is the most obvious, which is the hollow back. The second feature, less obvious, is the fact that they're lifting up and pushing out the chest and lifting up the sternum. And the other feature that sometimes makes a difference is the angle at which the thigh is, or the stirrup length. If the rider has their stirrup too long and their thigh too vertical, that can easily set off an even hollower back. And of course, uh, the stirrup length often has this kind of relationship with the back as well. That as the leg gets too long, the rider hollows, and as the stirrup gets too short, the, the rider goes more round backed as well. So the fix for hollow back is to think of bringing the waistband back. So as if someone's grabbed hold of your waistband and is pulling it backwards, you're essentially tilting the pelvis backwards. Now, I've had a lot of people say that that's really difficult for them to do and, and, and they still find themselves being hollow. And often that's because people are trying to go waistband back without the other part of the fix, which is you need to think of dropping your sternum down. So you need to go waistband back and sternum down. And in fact, I think it's pretty much near to impossible to get your pelvis back if you are not going to do the dropping of the sternum as well. And in fact, round uh, hollow back riders, when they do make the correction, might actually feel really sort of short and, and like this when they make that correction. So it is waistband back and drop the sternum to get yourself more neutral. So the second type of issue that I've seen is round back riders and uh, riders that are rounded through the shoulder as well. So with round back riders, you can perhaps have a look again at the stirrup length. Have they made the stirrup too short and, and therefore causing this kind of thing to happen? The, the fix is the inverse of what we did for hollow back riders. So actually you have to uh, sit more on the front corners of your seat and tilt the top of the pelvis forwards and likely lift up the sternum as well. So you're going to have to do both. Now you may still end up, you may still do that and end up with rounded shoulders. Um, and one of the fixes that you need to think about for rounded shoulders is to feel as though you're trying to bring the shoulder blades closer together, that you're widening the front of the chest here and one of the things that helps me is the base of the neck to, to about here, I think of shortening that distance, in other words, shortening that whole muscle chain there and, and um, trying to get shoulder blades together, shorten that distance and wide out through the chest. And that should be enough, along with getting the pelvis to kind of come more forwards, to help solve the issues of round back riders and, and possibly round shoulders riders. So shoulder blades more back together, increasing the distance in the front, shortening the distance here, sternum up and getting the pelvis to tip a little bit more forward.